just happen? Of course it did. He gave me his cassette player. It'll get me through the maze, huh? The janitor always has the keys. Huh. Very clever, Jesse. I did not think of that one. Okay, uh, welcome back. I, um, I think I'm almost done with the game. That was story mission eight. That means there's two more left. In the interest of pacing and making sure that, uh, you know, everything's like, I'm just also realizing that this control point is made of brooms. <clears throat> uh,. So that's kind of interesting that there has to be like, it has to do with like probably frequencies and shit like that. Um, maybe that was already apparent, but, and then there's an X on the ground in the form of more brooms. Um, I am going to say that I am pretty much done with any side missions. I'm not going to waste time doing the one MS ones because I'm starting to think, well, a lot of it is just it all it does is reward shit for like abilities and stuff and i don't care for it this is i mean the classic same argument that i've always had before is that um uh th things like this need to matter to the story or have a better outcome for the story in order for me to usually care about them uh, there's very rare instances where I'll go out of my way to do side mission stuff unless <clears throat> unless uh, it means something and we've gotten quite a bit here Achi's cabin Lomil Lomps, Holiday Homps the sun is warm, the beer is cold and the Kosu is in ice okay uh, did all those hotline foundation? You have seen the foundation slash base of the building slash tree. The house grew there, here, everywhere. We are there slash everywhere. We have a socket slash door there. It is a direct link. Whoa. You mean somewhere in here? I might look around for it just real quick after this. Uh, but I just want to explain that I'm... I am... I think I pretty much got the gist of the game. I will be doing a dark place first. But that is the only side mission thing that I'm doing. I tried to do Langston's Runaways. Uh, I can't navigate the game properly. <coughs> Um, and these what a mess ones, I just can't be bothered. If I had known about them maybe earlier on in the game, I'm sure that was a room that that had those hanging there the whole time. I don't think they just spawned at this point in the game, but I never, never saw them, and I don't have any interest in doing so because it has it. It doesn't matter. But <clears throat> I'm very intrigued by the Alan Wake part of it of the game, and I will be doing that first before ending this game. <coughs> um, so yeah, I'm gonna look, take a look around for that direct link, like they said. Oh, here's a file. Plastic tree supplement. <coughs> uh, the results are incredible, but more so the speed of the discovery this allows us. A14, AI 14 copies our speech, but after numerous tests, we've discovered that certain words are missing from its vocabulary. We began isolating these words, cross-referencing them with es esoteric texts. Jesus Christ, I had a fucking aneurysm for a second. From the early days of the Bureau, we found that these words, when arranged in particular formations and spoken at varying speeds and cadences, elicit a reaction from altered materials. We tested this specific string of words, a formula, if you will, on the other altered items kept in the examination hall. 
varying physical responses were recorded with each one with an 82% success rate. We've proven that words can tangibly affect these items. Specific applications must be explored possibly for containment or identification purposes. This will drastically change our approach moving forward and to think there are still more words to be found. Huh. Meaning that like they can... You can walk into a room, say a phrase, and then just be able to tell if something is altered or not. Okay. <clears throat> what is this astral? Oh. Uh. Okay. Upgrade. Grip. Hell yeah. All right. Um. Let's go back. To wait a minute, what? Take the sector elevator into Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I was like I was like, what? I thought we were supposed to go to the fucking ashtray maze. Central executive. <clears throat> Real quick, I want to take a look at outfits. Candidate P7. Oh wow. Okay. Well, we're not gonna go with that. So far, the civilian outfit is the only outfit. Investigations. Alright, Alan Wake. Write us a good fucking story, huh? Get us all hyped up for Alan Wake 2. Oh shit. I almost forgot. Uh... Where is it? Hotline. This is the star. engulfed the elevator. There was something there. A presence. Jesse Vaden could hear it. A call. It was faint. Reaching for her from a dark place. Vaden was sensitive to visitations. She had them all the time. From her guiding star. And the previous director. She was the perfect receiver. As if she'd been made for this. Faden paused to feel it. The force at play here. It was changing things around her, subtle. Trying to make her act. Faden didn't like that. Her guide felt it too. Polaris didn't flare up in defense as with the hiss. So it wasn't all bad. Not a hostile transmission. It was powerful, but it was coming from far away and made weak because of the distance. It was a distress call. Faden sensed a drowning man, a man desperate to escape. She sensed something else too, a hunger in the dark, not unlike the hostile resonance, waiting. She knew that desperate acts can have grim consequences. It was this, more than the man's despair, that made her follow the call. The elevator lights winked back on, the darkness receded like a memory. There was a new button on the elevator control panel. Investigation sector. Faden pressed the button. The elevator doors slid shut with practice bravado. Okay. Darling investigation. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into ethical practices of Dr. Casper Darling, head of research. Despite the accounts of anonymous blank regarding inhumane treatment of a blank, currently housed in the Bureau, our official findings regarding this were inconclusive. Numerous obstacles arose during this investigation. The majority of blank sector personnel seemed to be wholly unaware of any such blank contained there. One blank confirmed the blank's code name to be blank, but all files pertaining to the name were inaccessible. Being classified under the highest clearance level, investigators were similarly blocked 
from entering the blank research wing to interview its staff. The matter was further complicated by the lack of clarity on whether non-human paranatural entities warrant humane treatment. While this investigation cannot address any charges against Dr. Darling, we do recommend an investigation into blank research. Seems a lot more crowded than the rest of the Bureau. Missing agents. Jonathan Connor, Ezra Cruz, Carolyn Dempsey, Linson Malcolm, Lindsay Malcolm, Charles Murray, Derek Shaw. Uh confirmed missing, presumed dead. Letters of condolences will be delivered to you to sign prior to sending them to their families. Also, per your request, a network engineer checked how many cases were backed up digitally. Unfortunately, a large number of active investigations were not yet archived. And the only hard copies of reports exist behind the firebreak. They're lost, I'm afraid. The firebreak is where the fucking uh, ashtray maze is. Um, AI-82KE, Burrow Tractor. Uh, Burrow William, male Caucasian, case summary, 33-year-old man found dead on his property per police report. Remains obtained for coroner's office also include blood, urine, bile, stomach contents, and bone fragments, blunt force injuries, head, lacerations, left ear and cheek, dislocation, right knee, yeah, 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 blunt, okay, uh, extensive trauma, abdominal region, complete avulsion of multiple organs, including stomach, heart, liver, pancreas, kidneys, and portions of the large and small intestine, all missing, <coughs> all missing from the scene, sorry about that. Conclusion is my opinion that Mr. Burrow's death is not the result of a mechanical accident as claimed by authorities. The removal of organs is consistent with animal attack. Resignation letter. William Kirkland. To whom it may concern. I regret that I tender my resignation as head of investigations for the Federal Bureau of Control. I do this in protest of the rampant disregard for my department's blank. My staff cannot continue to work in these conditions. Previous requests and warnings have fallen on deaf ears, so I must now rely on my actions to speak louder than my words ever could. I blame this situation on our blank, who has routinely ignored my request for assistance in reclaiming the parts of the investigation sector lost to the blank loose inside. I will never forget the screams of brave agents begging for us to open that firebreak. I will carry that shame for the rest of my days. The blank has failed his agents. I shall never forgive him for that. I'm guessing the director. Hmm. It's not working. There are so many I fucking files here. Power core somewhere. Huh? Staffing issue, Mr. Dennis. So yes, there's an increase in AWE cases, and yes, it would be a good idea to put together a special task force to examine exactly why that is. However, it seems that a tiny little detail has slipped through the cracks. We don't have the damn staff. Uh, okay, well. Cauldron Lake update. Here we go. To Chief Investigator Dentness. It happened again, third time this year. Something certainly has it out for our blank. Could be raccoons, the locals certainly complain about them enough, but why the hell would raccoons keep going after a monitoring station? Doesn't add up. Anyway, I've got a bureau tech going to the site next week to take a look. Next on the list of recurring problems is the staff at the Lake House Research st Station. How am I supposed to effectively keep an eye on Cauldron Lake, is what I'm guessing, if they won't let me see any data? Hell, I don't even know what they're researching out there. We need to petition them again to share their info with investigations agents. It's only a matter of time before this shit hits again, and I want to be prepared. Anyway, if anyone at HQ asks why the Bright Falls report is a little thin this month, tell them it's because we couldn't take any readings. In the meantime, I might invest in some raccoon traps. Agent Estevez. More files. Didn't realize this would be a fucking... Uh... 
like a, a group reading. Okay, this is Dr. Ryan, a professor at University of Woodrow in the United Kingdom, where she teaches biology to focus on botany. Dr. Underhill has no known connections to paracriminal organizations or any record, blah, blah, blah. Her civilians are here, blah, blah, blah. Uh, the investigation has found no compelling reason to deny Dr. Darling's request to offer Dr. Underhill an interim position with the aim of finding a solution to the mold threshold issue. Holy shit, there's so many in here. Director investigation. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, Blank was launched into the blank of Director Zachariah Trench. Recent change in Blank witnessed in Director Trench, including aggressive Blank when Blank with other staff has been observed. However, this investigation is aimed at interpreting this issue rather than proving it. Notable Blank between Director Trench and Dr. Darling has been witnessed by numerous bureau staff, although both declined to meet for an interview on the matter. Witness accounts suggest their arguments center around the dimensional research wing and the Blank kept inside which we will find out. However, no evidence exists to confirm Dr. Trench's blank as anything more than interpersonal disagreement. This investigation has concluded that Dr. Trench's behavior is not indicative of any blank and that his fitness to lead is not in question. Trench, official warning. Kirkland, I'm growing tired of your blatant attempts to lay your incompetence at my doorstep. I know you want this to be true, but you are head of investigations. This failure is your responsibility. What did you think would happen holding a dangerous specimen in investigations? The contaminant sector exists for a reason. They are better trained and better equipped for this work. In fact, they have admirably taken on certain AWE monitoring responsibilities that your staff are no longer capable of. This happens more and more now. Don't think your petty internal investigations have gone past my notice. You are a worm. Everything I've done has been for the benefit of the Bureau. The prime candidate program only failed because of Darling. You are both failures plotting against me. You are traitors, but the truth will emerge out of you. You are choosing to become my enemy, Kirkland. You don't want to be. Zachariah Trench, director of the Federal Bureau of Control. Jesus Christ. When we read about the... um. Oh, dude, that is so cool. The fucking flexion on the helmet. That is actually such a dope detail. It's very impressive. I wonder if that has to do with, like, the gold helmet that they were talking about in that other piece of literature that I've read a fucking thousand pieces of. Okay, well, there's nothing up here. Uh... Ethics investigation. Per authorization from Mr. Kirkland, internal investigation was launched into the legality of the prime candidate program by the Federal Bureau of Control. Since all known subjects were relevant to the investigation, used executive prison. Okay, blah, blah, blah. Mr. Kirkland both paint an alarmingly clear picture of systematic blank and blank. Blank were brought into the oldest house and placed under blank examination and testing with the aim of pointing. One is director upon maturity. This program has produced no successful cases and only resulted in the traumatic blank of paranaturally inclined blank. Not only is this in breach of Ash Act, but it flies in the face of basic human blank. This investigation team unequivocally blank the prime candidate program and recommends that it be blank immediately. Condemns and abolish, maybe? Another fucking file. Keystone inspection. Mr. Kirkland, we stopped at Keystone on our way to, to the target AWE like you asked. I'm sending you the report. Keep a lid on this Groom and Morales desertion issue. Blah, 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 blah. Uh, in the meantime, you should send a team out here to cordon this place off and maybe get the comms guys working on a cover story. Uh, okay, I don't think. I need a power. I need a power cell to go up there. Where does this thing go to? It powers a broken light. Uh. Whoops. Now that gate 
it should open. Okay. Let's clean it up. Or I guess claim it. but something definitely happened here. You are correct. Blessed organization. Find 80% of the collectibles in the investigation center. A uh, group of individuals spotted outside the bureau's notice for decades, perhaps longer, displaying a level of skill and caution rarely seen in paracriminal groups. A review of past cases has found numerous Sorry, various mentions of their activity over the years. In 2016, a production company called Blessed Pictures was connected to an altered item case, as well as the death of an agent from exposure to illicit paranatural materials. Uh, Los Angeles-based ba public speaker named Chester Bless was involved in the illegal use of an altered item. Uh, 1988 business called Blessed Repair and Service was suspected in the involvement with an object of power case, perhaps even creating it. None of these businesses or individuals have ever been located. However, their connection to appearances of ultra I'm okay. Um, a production company called Blessed Pictures, but okay. Whoa. All right, we got a cord. Let's do it. One. Two. Three. Do we know each other? Whoa. I feel... This feels familiar. I can't seem to... I, I've forgotten it. I'm sorry. I'm... My name is Alan Wake. That's where the screenshot came, came, came from. Holy shit. Who are you? Do I know you? I'm your friend Tom. Tom Zane. Why does he look like him? There's nothing to worry about. Tom. The poet. The diver. You, you look different. That was just a, a role. A character. The protagonist I played in my, my old film. I'm a filmmaker. An old terror like yourself. Working on this together, remember? An artistic collaboration. What the fuck? I've got chills. You need a drink. Night Springs. Fuck. Alan Wake, the writer who went missing in that AWE case I read about. What's he doing here? And Thomas Zane was with him. The poet. No, wait. Th th he was a filmmaker. I, I always remember that wrong. 
no, he was, I mean, Alan Wakes knew him as a poet, and he had pieces of work on his, uh, at the, at the cabin. What the fuck? Wow, that's so loud. Pistachios, potato chips, pretzels. Oh, this is so fucking creepy, dude. Oh, I hate this, man. This is... This is Alan Wake as fuck. Oh, God. Jesus Christ. Please don't fucking break on me or anything. Dr. Emil Hartman, Whoa. devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Broke loose. Killed everyone it could. Lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. A resonance. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Hartman? Dr. Hartman? The guy that fucking was lying to us? Do we have another, uh, do we happen to have another fucking hotline? Dr. Emil Hartman was desperate. The Federal Bureau of Control had stolen his life's work. This was his last chance, his final experiment. What he'd been too scared to do before. Hartman dove into the lake, was taken, devoured by hungry darkness, became the thing that had been Hartman. Only an echo of him remained, fragmented impulses on autoplay, violent, bloodthirsty darkness in the driver's seat. Emerging from the lake, the thing was captured by the FBC, brought in, contained, studied. The thing broke loose, killed everyone it could, the FPC fell back and sealed the sector. The thing was alone in the dark, lurking, roaming, waiting. Then something else came. Not darkness, but similar enough. A sound. A resonance. It shouldn't be a surprise. If there's one, why not another? The darkness inside the thing could have been immune, could have resisted, fought could have been passed by, passed through with no effect. But it didn't and it wasn't. Maybe it had grown weaker over time, not aged. It was timeless, but weaker with no link to its source. A metamorphosis followed. The thing that had been Hartman went through another change. Yo, are we about to fucking fight Hartman? Or... Is this purely exposition? Getting through there. Here we go. Creepy, damp, and abandoned. Why did 
Wake want me to come here? I don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Can't leave my boy Alan hanging. What the fuck? I swear to God, one of these times there's gonna be a fucking. The amount of times I've checked that second stall. That doesn't look like a house shift. Do I oh even want to know? What in the fuck? Um. The amount of times I've checked that second stall. One of these times something's gonna fucking pop out at me and I'm going to actually shit my fucking pants. of Arthur Morgan everywhere. Oh boy. Alright. Well, there's his here. Would they not be? Huh. Okay. Just looking around for stuff. Hartman arrest. Hartman Emil. Wake Alan Anderson Tor. So, victim names Alan Wake, Tor Anderson, Odin Anderson. Rudolph Lane, Wendy DeSole, Thomas Emerson, and two redacted names. Officer names, Dennis, Special Agent Remy. Uh, kidnapping of altered individuals, sanctions against altered organizations, obstructions of Bureau investigation, breaching the Ash Act. Defender's property seized as evidence to be used in conjunction with an ongoing AWE investigation. Offender's personal effects have been sent to research for analysis. After being cleared by Bureau researchers, all victims have been released. Biannual surveillance orders were assigned to each except Anderson brothers due to their senility in wake possibly deceased. Nah. Alan's alive. Don't read confidential correspondence. It's not just rude, it's illegal. <laughs> Whoa. Looks like the house has gotten a little wild in here. Um I assume this doesn't go out anywhere. Just take that. Go through here. This darkness is Aim a powerful the light source. So now I have to deal with an interdimensional noise and sentient shadows. To destroy it. Uh okay. Light burns it away, huh? Alan knows all about that. Man, I bet this game felt so fucking good to like, after playing Alan Wake years ago. Huh. 
What the fuck, dude? Oh, wait, what's through here? Mold? Oh my god. What the fuck? Yeah. This isn't gonna tell me that it's like a hidden location? No? Alright, whatever. Whoa. How high up does that go? Oh, not very. Fucking God, did you see that? Did you see that? Oh, fuck, man. We are about to fight Hartman. And it's gonna be creepy as fuck. Alright, so that was the way up. Operation Center. The third thing. The sound made darker, the darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched like a worm through time. The third thing was a monster. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. Oh no. Let's listen to it. Third thing. The resonance carves its way through the thing that had been Hartman, vibrating, remolding. The sound changes the darkness, and the darkness changes the sound. They both changed what remained of Hartman. They all turned into something else. A third thing. The sound made darker. The darkness made louder. Hartman was stretched. Stretched as anyone when seen from out of time, like a worm through time. Almost an Ouroboros, a spiral, a maelstrom. The gravity well of a black hole, twisting inward, tightening, taking you deeper and deeper to the bottom, the heart, and through to the other side. The third thing said, when you hear this, you will know you're a new you. He said, we build you till nothing remains. He said, under the conceptual reality behind this reality, you must want these ways to drag you away. He said, baby, 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 yeah, orange peel. The third thing was a monster. What the fuck? He'd tear apart any ordinary person crossing his path. Now we crashed out of darkness toward Faden. There was nothing ordinary about Faden. Huh. Well, fuck, I need a flashlight. Oh, I don't like this. Hartman, just stay back until I can fucking find something with light. Kirkland, so you put me on desk duty just because I did the thing I was fucking hired to do? My job? Want to know what I call that? Bullshit. Asking us to interrogate the scum without using words like altered items or AWEs or paracriminal is the stupidest thing I've heard in my life, and I've heard some fucking stupid things. They already know the facts. Hell, they know just as much as us, if not more, and they get to sit there laughing at us while we dance around our words, trying not to leak classified terminology. They already know the fucking terminology. If you think pulling me off the case will stop me, then think again. That piece of shit blew up those tracks. He killed those people all to make a train turn altered. We have him dead to rights and you need to let me back in that interrogation cell so I can get him to flip on his buddies. These people are terrorists and deserve to be treated as such. You won't. This won't stop unless we stop them. 
You can go ahead and put me on suspension, see if that slows me down. Darkness everywhere. Lighten them up. Another fine mess. Clear the mold. God damn it. Black market. Black market hub specializing in the trade of occult talismans, relics, and other assorted ceremonial objects, as well as genuine, altered, and paranatural materials was raided in blank the Czech Republic by a team of special investigators. Unsuccessful attempts by suspected suspects to escape using altered items resulted in numerous casualties. Uh, the Bureau's concern here is threefold. There is a growing underground market for paranatural materials, which implies a growing awareness of their existence among a niche group of general public. Uh, these criminal individuals do not seem aware of the items, paranatural powers, and their attempts to activate them could prove devastating if done in populated areas, and the motivations of these collectors are largely unknown. NASA Corporation Review Following the NASA FBC coordination agreement in 1972, the Bureau has provided NASA with numerous technological advancements based on our research, including the black rock lining now found in all spacefaring vessels. In return, all data gathered during space missions is made available for Bureau researchers to analyze. Recently, certain individuals have raised the concern that this relationship does not adequately benefit the Bureau, either intel intellectually or financially. A thorough examination of the costs accrued by both organizations has shown that the expense of NASA's recent launch of the blank far outweighs any spending related to the processing and delivery of BlackRock. From its medium Earth orbit and... I'm guessing they're talking about the International Space Station. We'll provide the Bureau uh, with an unparalleled resource for remotely monitoring and photographing AWE sites, a resource that would be lost if the partnership ends. It is the opinion of this committee that maintaining a cooperative relationship with our colleagues at NASA is of vital importance. Okay. If I grab that... What does that start? This. Holy shit. Okay, well there's hiss out there, so... The shadow. Paranatural entity A010, aka the Shadow, is an aggressive blank consisting of three known types. Localized manifestation of a sentient blank capable of occupying organic. Okay. I'm guessing that this is talking about the Shadow, like the, the people that were the enemies in Alan Wake. Shaded individuals, shaded objects. Yeah. That was the enemy. Okay. <sighs> we already know how they work. And if you don't. Go watch the fucking game. Each type seems to work towards a shared goal, possibly targeting certain individuals, which may imply a shared link to a uh, blank intelligence. The threat this entity imposes warrants immediate exploration of offensive slash defensive measures. The investigation sector is being outfitted with an additional lighting sources, some internally powered to prepare for the eventuality of an blank invasion. Oh my god. Scared the fuck out of me. Eagle Limited Summary. Train derailment resulting in 62 casualties and numerous injuries was suspected to have been the work of a paracriminal group known as Blank. As a result of this event, the agents discovered that one of the cars had become altered with a persistent auditory event. It remains to be determined whether the AWE was spontaneous or the direct result of the sabotage. Bureau had been tracking said group at the time and the intel gathered suggested an event of this caliber was imminent in Bloomington. 
As a result, a response team on the site was able to respond to the train accident site within minutes of its occurrence. They arrived to find emergency processes underway, but also equipment left behind by the suspected group. A suspicious onlooker managed to elude agents after they attempted to make contact. Further investigation of the accident site revealed a curiously undamaged train car that exhibited an altered state when entered. This individual car was secured and transported to the investigation sector for further studies. Jesus. What the fuck? These new enemies? These motherfuckers don't fly like me. What the fuck? Did you see that? Whoa. What the hell? Oh my god, what the fuck? Ah, clear the fucking mold. Yeah, right. Uh, I don't feel right. Something in this darkness is draining me. Oh shit. There is Hartman background. There's stuff here. Dr. Emil Hartman is an academic psychotherapist. Yada, yada, yada. Publicly, Dr. Hartman's treatment center seemed unremarkable in his, its method and purpose. Privately, however, Dr. Hartman was abusing his patients in order to utilize any latent blank abilities they may possess with the aim of shaping blank to his own benefit. Reality, I'm guessing. Which has earned him a class 2 paracriminal designation. Investigation has proven that Dr. Hartman's illegal endeavors were conducted alone after being approached by the Bureau during the blank investigation. He displayed no remorse or intention to cease his actions. Dr. Hartman was taken into custody, evaluated, and released blank months later, having been deemed a negligible threat. His medical license has been permanently revoked. Okay, well there's a spot to put. Two, three generators for the stuff. Will this go up? It will. Oh, shit. Now what? Oh, fuck. What is that? Depowered by hungry darkness. Come on, elevator, time to go. Oh, fuck. Nothing even touches it. So you don't want the light. Activate the light. Do I have to... Okay, so he's just chilling. 
there more than one of him? Oh my god. There's got to be more than one battery cell. I can't take this thing out. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Fuck me. What the hell? Shrouded in fucking darkness. How do I... Oh, there's more power cores right here. Where... Another one for up there. What the fuck is this? Night Spring screenplay, page one. Screenplay was found after the Bureau acquired Night Spring's television series and all its past episode scripts. It appears to be written by Alan Wake as part of an application to become one of the show's writers. We remember Barry was talking about this. Sleep. Uh, Night Spring spec script Over the Threshold Darkly by Alan Wake. It is only human nature to wish to control the forces around us. Uh, my apologies, and even more so to possess them. But what happens when those forces are not ours to claim, or even of this world? What if they are the things you can discover in Night Springs? And then, we are in a secret lab. The large sign on the wall reads, The Federal Bureau of Night Springs. Scientist, I told you several times, Director, it isn't ready. The Director, it's ready when I say it's ready, Doctor. But the being beyond the portal, we have no control over it. Huh. Wonder if there's more pages to find. Vending machine procedures. Oh, oh wow. The vending machine was... Okay, a vending machine, it's, it's front covered in a faux wood panel, coin operated buttons, blah blah blah. I was discovered in a nursing home in Blank, Alberta, after a resident named Muriel Blank called a local news station about a magic vending machine. The news story reported that the nursing home staff was purposefully stocking the machine with distinctive food and objects as a way to raise the president's spirits. The bureau response team encouraged the story while confiscating the item. It generates and stores a variety of material in its rows of internal trays. Initial testing suggests that the items react to the mind of the individual in closest proximity and will produce whatever they subconsciously desire. Can it produce blowjobs? Okay. All right, yeah, no, 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 that's cool. That's cool, super cool. I don't know how to do damage to this guy. I don't know if I am doing damage to this guy. What the fuck? There it is. Jesus. Yeah, how do you like that? Holy fuck, are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. I spent way I spent the last like fucking 30 minutes in here. God damn it. So he dipped through there. Am I supposed to follow him? No. I'm supposed to use the goddamn elevator. Man, what are you doing in investigations? Jesus, don't scare me like that. If you're talking right now, I can't hear you. It's a one-way system. Try to find an intercom. Jesus Christ. Langston, it's me, Jesse. I know. I can see you on the monitors. The cameras in there haven't worked since we sealed that sector off a couple years back. Let me guess. You sealed it because of the monster guy. Wait, did you see Dr. Hartman? Jesus, I really wish you hadn't opened that fire break. Okay, listen, you need to find Hartman and kill him before he gets out into the Bureau. 
That thing is a person? He was a person. We brought him here to study after he was, uh, oh, altered in an AWE. I forget the medical word for what happened, but now light physically hurts him. Do you have a flashlight? No. no. Uh, a lantern? Headlamp? Oh, yeah, flare gun. Oh, Christmas lights. You can wrap them around your... I don't have any of them. <laughs> you fucking Barry did. <laughs> oh, shit. Whoa. Guess that one saw the light, huh? You didn't like that one? A yeah, tough audience. Have to work on it. Well, I got plenty more. What? What are the Christmas lights for? <laughs> Protection, man. Like garlic against vampires. Vampires. The helicopter's just across the parking lot and up the hill. Come on. Okay. Uh, well, I'm sure you'll think of something. I'll keep an eye on you from the panopticon. This is kind of exciting, right? Maybe from where you're standing. Right. Okay. Well, uh. Break a leg. Oh, why did I say that? Okay. This Hartman thing can't have gotten very far. Let's go flush him out. Hmm. Langston was right. Find Hartman and Eagle Limited. Kind of it's just nice to have someone to talk to, you know? Shut up. Ever since I... We'll start here, I guess. I like that they added that thing about Barry putting Christmas lights around him for protection and the headlamp. Alright, give me my health back. Fight off Hartman. What the fuck? Oh. Fucking. All right, Hartman, where the fuck are you? Oh, there you are. Uh, need a power cell. Can you open that? Is he here? He's above me. There's a light. Well, that was funky. Take it with me. Oh man. Director Faden here. I need a ranger dispatched to my position. That's not gonna happen. The hiss are in for it now. Whoa. What the fuck? Or it is gonna happen. Alright. Come on, pal. No, no, no. Oh. 
Fucking hell. Oh, fuck. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I... Oh, my God. I'm guessing I'm going up there. I was like, is that him in the corner? What you had in mind? What? Brain missing. To the good for nothings at the security check, I know you took a part of my brain when you put me through that metal detector. I'm not stupid. I know what they're really for. What I don't know is whether you're taking a part of my brain causes me to lose some of my memories or lose sleep. I've been told if you lose sleep, you lose everything else too. That's where you trick us regular people. Now I don't know which it is and I can't remember what you did to me. But I can tell you all this much. I don't find this funny at all. I want my memories back and you can be sure the next time I visit the Baltimore Washington International Thurgood Marshall Airport. Oh my god. Uh, I will come and find you and make you f fix what you broke. Sincerely, I don't think I will be signing this with my real name. Like I said, I'm not stupid. You can just mind your own damn business. Okay. Crazy person. Uh, utility corridor. Eliminate the darkness. There's one more right there. Alright, I still need that. Spring screenplay, page two. The robust director shoves the nerd-like scientist aside and heads for the portal control panel. He slams the on button with a determined fist. Director, all the more reason. The entire screen is filled with dangerous red, then it fades away and we see that the two men are in another dimension. The air ripples around them as if they were in a 1983 Pontiac Firebird Trans Am sitting in the Texas sun after a five-day road trip. Uh... So, in, uh, introduce unknown dimension night. What have you done? You've doomed us. Director, control yourself, doctor. What's this beast of yours? Right here, sir. A horrible, shapeless, shifting entity fills the horizon. It can't be described. That's how horrible it is. What a thing of beauty you've been keeping from me. Huh. Uh, there's no way to, like, clean these areas, right? Cleanse them. They're just like this. Reminder, the law of three also applies to all faucets within the oldest house. 
Be mindful and don't cause any aquatic misconduct. Thank you for your attention. Huh. Faucets. Very interesting. Oh boy. God damn it. Alright, Hartman, you son of a bitch. Hey, this is the train car. Lots of dark corners to hide in. Let's get the lights on and clear him out. Oh, shit. Are you fucking kidding me, man? I I'm picking up the stupid health shit. God damn it. Come on. What happens when you step inside of it again? It transports you, right? Where is he? There he is. Oh, he's running away. Whoa. He can manipulate the house. Dead in his board. What the fuck? Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome aboard the Eagle Limited bound for Chicago. Please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. Good evening, all you fine-looking folks. Here's some smooth tunes to ease your minds and please your ears as we wait for that delicious dinner to roll right on in. Damn, this sounds like a good fucking time. Next stops, Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. That's Alton, Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Tickets. This is the train car that was... Uh... Destroyed. Oh Okay, so I'm guessing you have to do this. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and Good welcome evening, aboard the Eagle Limited bound close. for Chicago. Here's please have your tickets ready and enjoy the ride. And please your ears as we wait Next to stops, the dinner to roll okay. right on Carlinville, and Springfield. Tickets, please. Oh, Everyone, take your seat. 
so it has to be in the right order. Oh my god, that's so loud. Got it. <laughs> Excuse me, ma'am. Do you have a ticket? What the fuck? You had a pretty dark ride, huh? But I hope you're done replaying it now. It's been solved. All right. Let's go finish this shit with Hartman. Uh... Oh shit. Come on! Jesus Christ. An alert from blank... Uh, I can't remember where it was. Washington. Monitoring station indicated minor blank activity occurring in the area. Agent Estevez was dispatched to investigate inside the Cauldron Lodge. Cauldron Lake Lodge. She discovered the facility's former owner, Dr. Emil Hartman, had been converted into a shaded individual and displayed violent behavior characteristic of its type. Agent Estevez alerted the on-site research team to the specimen's presence and, with some difficulty, it was successfully contained in a black rock cell. The cell and its inhabitants were transported safely back to HQ where the specimen remains detained in the blank sector as part of the blank AWE investigation. Once the investigation is closed, research teams have petitioned to relocate the specimen to their sector for study. Oh shit, oh shit, oh fuck. It's pretty dark down there. <laughs> motel complaint. Hey, Stu, did you hear about Fisher got himself in trouble in the motel? Why the hell does anyone volunteer to stake out that place? It gives me the creeps, but hey, at least he came back if you can call it that. I saw some footage they pulled out there with him. Tom, down in evidence processing, showed me crazy stuff. Fisher had the cameras pointed at himself half the time. I'm guessing he went nuts on day one. He did catch something, though. Got one of those fiber optic cameras under the door of the room he was hiding in. Recorded something out in the hall. Looked like a shadow, maybe human. Tom tried to get the quality up, but it's still blurry as fuck. Just reaffirms my position. Stay the fuck out of the motel. Anyway, up for some shoom later? Lisa got up to an hour and 38 minutes yesterday. New record to beat. <sighs> Whatever the fuck that means. Alright, well, no leaving. He's in here. There he is. What the hell? Get those lights on. There's one. We need another power core. Well, this is gonna suck. Here we 
go. the goddamn lights. Ugly motherfucker. <sighs> wow, it is dark in here. He's just gone, huh? Oh my god, you're still Ever here? Since I got put in charge of the Panopticon, people treat me different, like I'm crazy for wanting to work with altered items. People just don't understand the altered items like I do, you know? I don't want to brag, but it does take a very empathetic mind to connect with the item. You don't want to brag. <laughs> right. Yeah, fuck that guy, you know? All right. Time for the Framaro. Whatever the fuck that means. This DLC is taking way longer than I thought it would. Recording close to the two hour mark. I apologize if this is running a bit long. But, you know, it's um, close to the end of the game and it's about Alan Wake, mostly. Ouch. Yo, who the fuck are you? Jesus. Fucking ouch. Need a flashlight and a power node. Can I get one from? Oh, there was a flashlight right fucking there. Shoom. New mission. Yeah, well. Uh, I don't know if I want to know about it, you know? Missions. Shoom. Find and interact with the arcade machine. Uh, that won't open. Where am I gonna find an- oh, for fuck ass. Uh, open sesame. Oh no. Oh, okay, thank God. Is there another light here, maybe? No. Uh. Damn it. Are you shitting me? All right, fine. I'll find my own fucking light source. So I need to... Huh. Look at that, dude. I'm so fucking good. Okay, and then I gotta do the same thing going the other way. Crosses right about now.
Hell yes. Escape the darkened corridor. God damn it. No node switch. No node switch. Fucking. There it is. Come on. Oh my god. This sure is a whole lot of bullshit. Look at that, another fucking entrance sealed by darkness. Oh boy. Oh my god. Piece of shit, dude. I am fucking getting fed up with this. Fucking bitch. Oh my. Jesus fucking Christ, get me out of here. Need a power node. It's fucking, it's covered by darkness. I don't have a fucking flashlight. Oh, there's... It fucking hit it. Give me the flashlight. fucking roundabout way of opening a door. That's the director, or, you know, was the director. Yo, Doc. It's like whatever force had a hold on Hartman isn't mixing well with the his corruption. Lake did call him the third thing. Okay. I'm just going to freestyle a bit. What? <laughs> My mother always said, never talk to strangers. Always. Never. Never. Always. Never. But isn't a stranger just someone you don't know? What the fuck is this? What if the only thing stopping a stranger from being a friend is that word? Stranger. Strange. Er. Huh? 
strange like the noises you hear at night when there is no light and you cannot bite. Strange like a rubber duck that follows you around and <laughs> makes you drop your coffee every time that it quacks because the noise scares you. Then you have to clean up the coffee while the duck stares at you. Wow, I hate this guy so much. Continues to quack. quack Sharing confidential information. Quack. Quack. So fucking terrible. A chain letter. <laughs> I remember these. Mom used to say they were evil. <sighs> Better do what it says. You know, just in case. There must be a photocopier around here. Like, emails? Like, uh, you know, those chain emails about, like, if you forward this to however many people. Jesse finds a chain letter which she decides to mail a few copies of just to be safe. Chain letter. Move this letter along before he gets you. Oh no, this spooky man letter has found you. The spooky man curse is coming to you. To the miss, to miss the curse, you must mail this letter to people. If you don't, the curse will get you. The more letters you mail, the better off you will be. Sally in Houston did not send the letter, and the spooky man ate her cat. Terrence in Greenstone did not send the letter to the spooky man. It gave him empty. Or er, oh my God, sorry, I was reading two fucking things at once. Spooky man gave him acne. Kyle did not send the letter, and now his wife eats dinner alone. Uh, Linda did send more than more letters, 30 letters in total so far, and look at her now. She owns three cars. She has all her fingers. She speaks Italian. You need to mail this letter. You better mail this letter. Don't let the spooky man come. He'll take your cat. Go find your stamps. Hurry. <laughs> Shaded Hartman. Uh, yeah, the air, the airborne one. Um, levitate similarly to his elevated agents. However, these airborne his rangers display no telekinetic abilities. Okay, yeah, whatever. Anyways, um, is the first type two shaded individual to be examined alive by the bureau, and has proven a valuable asset for our understanding of A zero one zero, aka the shadow. Like all shaded individuals, the specimen is constantly shielded by, or produces, a blank of darkness that makes visual observation difficult. This blank also protects the specimen from harm during testing non-lethal ballistics proved ineffective against it. The specimen uses words and phrases that seem to originate from its previous life as a therapist. Some phrases have even been identified as quotes from Dr. Hartman's book, The Creator's Dilemma. This seems to indicate the host's personality remains blank to some degree. Uh, for research purposes, Shaded Hartman was relocated to the Cauldron Lake Lodge replica built for the blank AWE investigation. Researchers hope a familiar setting may trigger new behavior. This experiment has yielded no results thus far. I need a ranger at this location immediately. Yeah, this is gonna be rough. The hiss are in for it now. Bitch. How does it fucking feel? I can take that light if I need it. Is there any darkness here? Uh, another secret room. Uh, this bitch is sideways. Oh, 
fucking kidding me? Seized protection. Fuck. Been playing this game for how many hours and I still don't got the fucking controls down? What the fuck? A spaceship? Summary. Paranatural entity arrived arrived on Earth by infiltrating the Apollo 14 lunar mission at an unknown point in their voyage to the Framaro Highlands of the Moon. 32 hours after the return of Apollo 14 command module to Earth, the Bureau was contacted by Mr. Blank, a White House senior official, and instructed to send a small team to the Johnson Space Center in Houston. At the base, the team examined the entity and carried out interviews with NASA staff. They learned that four astronauts had returned to Earth instead of the expected three. Each human crew member was insistent that the mission left with four members, though they couldn't name the fourth when asked. The entity seemingly affected their memory to take its presence feel unremarkable. The entity was transported to the oldest house for further investigation. An altercation between NASA security and the investigation team occurred upon their arrival. Mr. Blank called to clarify the matter, though tensions remained high. Bureau jurisdiction and clearance should be defined more clearly with other federal agencies. So fucking annoying. Where does that fucking node go? Over there? Clear over there? Promaro supplement. Uh, the E. Extra vehicle, extra vehicular mobility unit. Jesus Christ. The Apollo 14 entity, commonly known as Fra, underwent a series of physical examinations upon its admittance into the oldest house. Uh, the entity can speak, though its poor grasp of the English language makes any meaningful communication impossible. So that's what the that's what the entity was. It was talking in the fucking in the uh in the thing it was talking in the thing and it was saying spider time and fucking tubes the suit itself is slightly damaged which is likely due to the fact that the command module did not have the fourth seat for the entity to strap into during re-entry the emu is entirely hollow and pieces can be removed though this seems to agitate the entity x-rays and spectrograph imaging have shown blank shaped outlines existing within the suit for safety reasons, the entity will be contained in a secure cell until more information can be gathered. <sighs> okay. Uh, is that another one? Yeah. Fucking annoying. I just need this one. Fucking bitch. <sighs> Shit. Motherfucking bitch ass.
there. One last place for him to hide. Yeah, but it's already been ten fucking different places. While I love that this part is about Alan Wake, it could not be any more fucking, uh, like, filler-y. I mean, this is just fucking ridiculous. What the fuck? Oh, fuck. I imagine a lot of this has been cut out, but I've been recording for two hours and 40 fucking minutes now. And, uh... There was a lot that happened in the beginning, and... Not a whole lot since. just came through here god he was hideous he tore the security door into the break falls awe site wide open he was so ugly like wow i got a good look at him and christ he does not look like he used to the hiss must have messed him up or something he, he, he looks like a a bar rag that's been twisted by the world's strongest man or a monster from some 80s horror movie you know back when it was all practical effects okay real professional remember i, I can't hear you the darkness Whoa. wants to hide the past and make me lose my way. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, and rewrite it. They are drawn to the mystery. Alright, we got probably one more hotline to listen to of this, and then... And then it's, um... Time to kill Hartman. I've written and rewritten. Deconstructed, reconstructed. Experimented with different voices. Changed the style, changed myself. Forgotten the language, relearned the language. Have I been here before? Gone down this path before? The darkness wants to hide the past to make me lose my way. You must know where you've been to know where you're going. I trust what I read on these pages. I wrote them for a reason. My notes to myself. The only way to make progress, recap, then write more. The style then, lose the fat, make it clear, ugly, functional, present, be blunt. Only the brutal truth. Cut through the reality, tear it apart, rewrite it. Be clever, make them do the work. Form the image in their minds. They make it, you just imply. Incept. They're drawn to the mystery, obsessed. You set it up, they put it together. Their interpretation, and there's only one because you give them no choice. And they believe in it. Because it's theirs now. Damn, that is some good fucking writing, you know? Like, thinking about how an author creates a good story. You make... You make it ambiguous enough... To make the person think that they are coming up with the idea on their own, or like, piecing it together, but you really, you kind of guide them into thinking that anyway. But not enough to where they're aware of it, you know? See, that was pure fucking filler. And that was pretty obvious. Oh, the elevator stopped because darkness got caught in the fucking... And then enemies show up? Nah, it's just a way to drag out the fucking... I'd rather have a good story in a short amount of time than a good story mixed with a bunch of shit in the middle to try and make it seem longer.
Thank you for meeting with us again, Dr. Armour. It's my pleasure, gentlemen. I hope the information I provided thus far has been of some small use. It's been invaluable, Doctor. Really, we have a much clearer picture of this event, thanks to your accounts. Well, I do consider myself a keen observer. Of... We did have one question, though. You mentioned in an earlier conversation that your patients displayed, and I'm paraphrasing here, unnatural abilities that you, in fact, encouraged during their time in your lodge. It'd be very helpful if you could fill us in on the details there. Of course. Like yourselves, I work to understand and even bend the rules of our earthly paradigm. My patient's well-being was paramount, of course, but I would hardly be a man of science if I did not reach out at the underlying truth. As I stated in my written proposal, I believe working alongside your organization could be greatly beneficial to both parties. Sharing notes, as they say. Thank you, Doctor. That's all we need to hear. Remy? Dr. Emil Hartman, you have been found in breach of codes 4, 8, and 74 of the Federal Bureau of Control Criminal Offense System. What? You can't do this? I am a well-connected man. You're making a dire mistake, my friend. You will be detained until further notice and all personal property will be confiscated, including the Cauldron Lake Lodge. That's preposterous. You can't just seize my property. I'm a United States citizen. I have rights. That lodge is my life's work. I'm offering you years of research. Get him out of here. You're making a mistake. You have to listen to me. You have to listen. Maximum security. Live subject. Notice, check with guard before proceeding. No unauthorized personnel beyond this point. That's a lot of dead people that have been dead for a long time. Okay. One, two, three. I've forgotten again. I had a plan. I know it. I forgot. He's coming? Whatever is going on with Wake, he clearly needs some help. I... Uh, yeah. I'd say so. Let's try to fucking help him, you know? That sounds scary. They all sound scary. Okay, very cool. Okay, I need a light source then. I can't take that desk lamp. Jesus Christ. Whoa. Okay. Uh... Uh... 
Are there mirrors or something? Like, how the fuck is this gonna work? first one was just turning on the desk lamp then, right? Where are the keys? Going in bad. Wake had to escape, right? His escape. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special, something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. So did Alan Wake write this shit? It's happening again. The story needed many beginnings, many springs, streams that turned into a river, a flood, and then an ocean. This was one. Wake used the materials he had, the connections he had, the people, the places. Wake put them in to make it true. His wife, the psychiatrist, his city. These connections, like magnets, move things. Alice was a conduit. She'd been in the dark place. The thing that had been Hartman sensed her near, sensed Wake through her, went berserk, broke loose. Wake made sure Alice was already gone by then. Safe. His wife. The more springs, the more the story became real. The more people believed. Cause and effect. It was extremely delicate and hard work. It had to go through the path of least resistance where success was most likely. Where there was a connection already. Wake felt the pressure grow in his head going mad. Wake had to escape. Right. His escape. He was already out. He wanted to make it true. Wake needed a hero. A hero needed a crisis. For the part in the story about the government agency, Wake needed something special. Something to convey an alien force mimicking human intelligence. Something that can't be translated. Translated. Wake channeled Burroughs and Bowie. He cut up sentences and words. Orange peel. You are home. Insane. He put them in a shoebox. He pulled out the words. Wake created a Dada's poem. He'd try anything once. Or had he tried this before? What the fuck? Dude, I love this shit, man. I'm fucking eating it up. Power on. Bright Falls AWE. Another replica. Director Faden here. Send back up to my location. Oh my god, that dude scared the fuck out of me, actually. There's Hartman. Okay, okay, let me stand on the light real quick.
Is that all the fucking things? All right, motherfucker. He is fucking him up. Where is he? Uh oh. Come on. He dead? What the hell? 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 Come on. Why can I not pick that up? Shit, I'm out of energy, that's why. Now how do I get that shield down? Fuck. God, you piece of shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! Fuck! Bitch, man. Fuck. Cool. So fucking stupid. Fucking piece of shit, bitch. Hardman <sighs> won't be a problem anymore, Langston. But investigations need someone to run it. Interested? I've seen what happens to sector heads, ma'am. No, thank you. Ma'am, I'm getting something on my terminal here. An AWE alert from Bright Falls, Washington. But it might be a glitch. 
The date's all wrong, a couple of years in the future. And we're in lockdown, there shouldn't be any incoming signals. What the fuck? Maybe it was active before we went into lockdown? Are there agents on site? Let me check. Agent Estevez is the field agent in charge of monitoring the site, so she should be there to let us know if the situation has been through any major changes recently. Fucking chills. You get chills, buddy? Jeremy, tell me honestly, how'd, what did you think about that cutscene? It's pretty fucking dope, right? Oh, man. We fucking did it. Alright, Jesus Christ. Honestly thought that DLC was never going to end, but it was fucking worth it. I am pumped as shit for Alan Wake 2. This is a fun game. I do think that some of the... Uh, it's definitely way too difficult for no reason uh, in terms of like navigational ability and flow like level design and flow. I know it's partially meant to be, you know, confusing and shape shifty and shit, but if that's the case, you know, make it a little more straightforward on how to get from point A to point B. I, I admire it from a point of like creativity, playability. It has been frustrating as fuck. But, you know, we're still not done. Uh, we got two more missions coming up. And I'm going to go ahead and end this one now because uh, I'm fucking tired and it's been three hours. I'll see you in the next one.